Hi there, mm -hmm. this is Tim Walsh from Stanwood Bee Company. I'm here today to set up a cell starter finisher colony. And I'm using a double screened bottom board that is going to go between the top and the bottom box. The goal is to put the queen in the upper box with eggs and larva. In the bottom box, we're gonna leave a space for a grafting frame which we're going to install tomorrow and we're going to have only cat brood and honey in the bottom box. We're also going to feed both the top and the bottom box and we're going to put an ultra bee pollen patty in the bottom box. So I'm going to go through right now and I'm going to tear this hive apart and we're going to set it up in that configuration. This is the perfect setup for making queen cells. I'm going to install about 30 queen cells into this uh, cell starter colony. Uh, I've gone through and selected hives that are uh, have a large amount of bees in them so that they can make the best queens possible. Right now mm -hmm. it's August, so I have about a month left to make as many queens as possible. Right now the drone population in the Puget Sound is at the highest it's going to be throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Next month, the temperatures are going to drop, the drones are going to get kicked out of the hives, and they're going to stop making drones. So this is the optimal time to make the best queens possible. The queens that I'm making between July and September are the queens that go into my nukes. Right now I have about 200 double 5 over 5 nukes that are going to go through the winter. Those nukes are the nukes that I'm going to sell April 1st to my customers. Those nukes are going to be selling next year for 2021 for approximately $225 each. They'll be available on April 1st next year for pickup. My plan this year is to take three to 400 nukes down to the almond orchards in California in December I'm going to put those nukes into contracts for almond pollination and uh, I'm going to feed them and they're going to blow up. They're going to be 15 frames of bees, brood, and honey by March 15th. I'm going to bring those nukes back here to my yard in Stanwood, Washington mm -hmm. and I'm going to select the five best frames with that queen and that's what is going into my nukes for next year. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call or you can uh, text me and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more videos and uh, give me the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So today I'm going to set up a cell starter, cell finisher colony using a Snell Grove board or a double screen, double screen board as an entrance on this side. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go through this hive and I'm going to move the brood frames around, find the queen, and make sure that there's no, uh, no eggs or larva in the section that I put the, the grafts into. And it's, uh, it takes uh, two days to do this. Today I'm just gonna set it up and I'm gonna put this in there. Uh, the queen is gonna be in the top box when I get done with all the eggs and larva. And cat brood and honey is gonna be in the bottom box. And it's gonna be, they're gonna think that they're queenless. The back of this uh, screen board is gonna be facing out the back. And all the field bees from the top box are gonna come around and go back into the bottom box. I'm going to put a cell bar in there today with empty cell cups so that they can polish the cell cups and then tomorrow I'm going to graft into those cell cups and I'm going to put the cell cups back in the bottom box and then the day after that I'm going to come back and I'm going to switch the positions of the two boxes and put a queen excluder between the two of them making them back to a, a queen right colony and then they're going to continue to make those cells all the way until they uh, until they hatch and I'm going to pull them out two days before or three days before they hatch. And those cells are gonna go into, into five frame mating nukes. So I'm gonna get started.
It's a honey frame. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna find the queen, that's our goal, and inspect each frame for brood or larva or eggs. We, no, we want no larva or eggs in the box that we're gonna put our grafting cells into. You wanna do this with a colony that's got a lot of bees. This is a double deep colony, lots of bees. Here's a brood frame, capped brood. There's some larva, but it's older larva. It's, it's uh, and very minimal. Here's another brood frame, capped brood, no larva. Brood. Cat brood is good to put in there with the uh, with the cell starts because uh, the nurse bees. So we don't want we don't want eggs and larvae. We just want cat brood. 
I think the queen is in the bottom box here somewhere. I'm gonna find her in just a second. There she is, right here. Right here in the center of the frame. It's an ankle biter queen. Larva. box. I'm going to move this off to the side. We're going to put her on top of this other box here. I got uh, cat brood and then I'm gonna put uh, another frame of cat brood on the outside of the pollen frame that we're going to go into. cells are going to go right there. So I'm going to close this up and then I'm going to go get some feed and stuff and then I'm going to come back. And we're going to put a pollen patty and we're going to put uh, we're going to put a pollen patty and we're going to put um, some feed in there. The queen is in the top box. entrance on my uh, on my double screen board is in the back so the bees they're gonna leave the exit and they're gonna come back and go in the front and I'm gonna feed the top and the bottom and throw a pollen patty in there at the same time be right back mm -hmm. 